So it is Wednesday, aka hump day, and I'm going to this local taco slash burrito place. Actually, it's not local, it's a chain. Um, but this place that at least used to have a hump day special. So I'm gonna see if they still have it. Um, is the hump day just for the, the like the it famous is, ones yeah, or the create your own? Okay. Free, unfortunately. No, that's fine. Um, can I get that with um? Your name. Ross. Ross. Yeah. Um, can I get that with? We did get a new famous favorite. I don't know if you've been here before, but it's called the Cowboy. Uh, let me get the powerhouse. Powerhouse is not. Is that included? Oh, it is. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Give us like four or five minutes on that. Okay, no problem.
ocean first. Just the basic facts. Can you show me where it hurts? Ah, come on. Thank you. Good one. You too. So I 100% ordered the wrong thing again. I get a little flustered when I'm holding a camera and something changes where I can't just do what I used to do. So it comes with this bag of chips. Um, and it's, it's, you know, a little bit of, it's, it's a tiny bag for sure, for sure. Um, you can see it's not even filled up all the way by any means. But these chips are really good. So at least there's some respectable about them. I don't know if you can tell too well, but there's some, it's like orange salt on them. And I don't know what it is. But it's really good. It's like super salt. I, I can't tell what it is. But it really just stings whenever it touches my tongue. So I got my own two napkins because I know this place doesn't give you napkins. Um, and I accidentally ordered a burrito instead of a burrito bowl. For a dollar more, you get so much more. Oh, it's, it's, it's glued on there. Okay. For a dollar more, you get so much more food from this place. And I forgot to say that I wanted the bowl. Um, because I was trying to randomly pick something on the menu. And I'm not even sure I ordered what I wanted. I got a powerhouse, which might be steak. I don't even like steak. I just saw that it had some breakfast stuff. Oh, so sorry. So as you can see, it's this big. It was like 10 bucks, And yeah, I, I tip a dollar at that place just because I like the people. Um, but yeah, you can see taking off some of this. And I'm going to try to show you if I can do this with one hand the correct way to hold a burrito. So what you do is you're supposed to rip off the top layer. So my bad, apparently my phone storage was full, so I was recording, but it wasn't actually recording. Um, but as you can see, here is the burrito. It was about, I don't know, 20%, 25% bigger, and this is already just hand size, so a pretty good sized burrito. Um, if you look inside of it, it's got sausage, egg, potato, um, a little bit of onions littered throughout, and the same thing with the bacon. There's not too much bacon, which I really appreciate. A lot of places just chuck bacon everywhere because that's the flavor master or whatever. Uh, but the great thing about this is every bite seems to be a little bit different. You know, some have a little bit more potato, some are more focused on the sausage, um, and it just it all mashes really well together. Whenever you put egg and potato together, it just becomes the foundation. You can almost put anything on top of it. But those are kind of duller flavors, right? So they add in the spice sausage. They add in a little bit of bacon in bites. So you get the flavor, plus you get a really nice consistency. It's going to sit well in your stomach. You're getting a bunch of different, um, like, protein breakdowns. You know, some's just carb. 
um, you know, onion a little bit for the vegetable. You're getting a, a bunch of different things in it. So I could really see this being a great morning treat. Personally, I eat breakfast burritos just any part of the day. There's this Mexican place at lunch. I'll just go and get the, actually, I don't know what it's called, but it's some sort of breakfast burrito similar to this. And the thing about all of it is it's cooked, you know, on a flat top stove. I think that's what they're called. So it's sitting in its own moisture. So it's never going to be dry. The way those ovens work, I don't really understand it, but it's never going to be dry. So it's super smooth as it's going down, as you're biting it. Everything is so soft. So along with this, um, I got a Coke. Um, I just give it to one of my coworkers because um, I try not to drink soda anymore. Um... And we got these chips. So um, the problem with the chips is the bag is like half full. You know, they really don't give you very much anymore. They used to give you this large bag with a lot of chips. But, you know, when COVID hit, they really shut down the chip game. But these chips are really good. I don't know why. But if you can see, there's some sort of like orange salt on these chips. It's looking a little bit weird on the camera because these are... You know, they're super thin chips, so they're all like they're see through from the camera's point of view. But there's some sort of orange salt on them, and it's really good. So you can see they're just really light and they have flavor on them. I don't know what it is, but these chips, they've always been the same and they're always so good. Even if they overcook them and they're a little bit tough, they still taste great. So you can see there's just so much stuff in it. If I bite on, on this side, right, I'm going to get that potato bacon. If I bite on this side, I'm going to get a lot of sausage. If I bite in the middle, I'm going to go ham on some egg. But it's still, everything's mixed together. Um, but that is going to be it for this video. My arm's tired because I've literally been holding it for, you know, so long now. Um, sorry again for not recording the beginning. I just didn't notice somehow. I didn't get a pop-up saying that it was out of memory. Um, but um, if you like the video, you know, feel free to leave a like, a subscribe, comment down below. Um, if you got any food suggestions, I need some more of those. Um... I have a couple still that I have to go to, but you know, again, they're a little bit out of the way. So um, I've been checking online, trying to find some stuff. I've been asking some people I know if, if they know any good stuff. Um, but this place is called Burrito Famous. I don't know if I said it before. I think I did. Um, and it's a chain and it's very good. Personally, I don't like sauces on my stuff. So the fact that this didn't have a sauce worked out really well, or if it did have a sauce, they didn't put it in. Um, but it is still very moist and enjoyable. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, I hope you have a great day. If you don't like the video, well, you know, you can still have a great day.